Hey, what is going on everybody? It's your boy X coming at you all with a brand new video and in this video We're gonna be talking about the weekend limited restrictions and what cards you guys should be using or could be using to get your guys ring as well as the free amethyst Mo Peterson that comes along um, During here so if you guys are excited make sure you guys smash the like button down below Comment what cards you guys are using right now or who you saw on this list or I guess section that you guys really liked as well as subscribe if you guys are new we are on that road to 10k subscribers so for this weekend in limited you can see we have to fill our lineup with three point shooters all eligible cards are marked with the limited sticker only one amethyst or higher card is allowed and no free agents at all thank god for that last one because I'm not trying to go against the free agent rows but um, there's also some challenges that go along with it. This win the weekend 12-4 um, over here. Some nice challenges to get done. And if you guys aren't going to be playing too much limited or anything this weekend, make sure you at least go ahead and get these done because there's going to be a Ruby Amon Shumpert that you guys can get from this that also has some later XP challenges down here uh, that you can go ahead and crank out, which are all nice and cool. And he also is somebody that goes into the uh, season rewards over here into the season of giving collection rewards that you can lock in for this mystery player which you're definitely going to want to get you can see a monster above the mj as well as morris peterson up to the top so make sure you play limited and get those this weekend so it seems like the rough cutoff for the three-point shooters is going to be somewhere around like 75 you can see i have some of the uh silvers in here to show you guys um, what the ratings are, there's a 75 three-point shots on that Patrick Patterson, 75 on this Cameron Johnson, um, and things like that. So you can see, 75 is like the lowest you can get because a lot of these guys have um, pretty low three-point shots but are still in here. So if you wanted to use low-rated um, cards, you could. But you get one Amethyst or higher card, obviously, like it says. So you have to pick this one wisely, which you guys really, really want out of it. Um, if I'm being honest, I've been going with the Pink Dom and Seth Curry and just going cheesy with that because, you know what, I have them. But a lot of things that I would recommend is actually maybe doing it with your center. If you have a really nice center, uh, maybe LaMarcus Aldridge or something like that that can really stretch the floor, still play some solid defense or something of the like. Uh, maybe you have Pink Dom and Anthony Davis or something like that. Probably wouldn't be a terrible idea to go ahead and do that and throw him in there because some people have some pretty weak um, center positions right there. So it might be pretty nice to throw them in. But that's what I would do for your Amethyst or higher because there's some really good budget guys that I'll show you guys from the one through four that I think are very, very solid. Um, but there's also some pretty good centers as well. So when it comes to PGs, one that I'm always going to recommend to you guys for limited whenever he is available um, is going to be Sapphire. PG, I have to find him, Derek Harper. This Derek Harper is one of my favorite cards of the game. Obviously, when it comes to Sapphires, that is. Now, when it comes to getting this card, you had to get him in Season 1 from the Triple Threat Offline Reward section for this Derek Harper. So if you didn't get it, not Season 1, Season 2? Something like that. You guys had to go ahead and get him off there. And you can see Derek Harper is beautiful, has an 83-point shot, which is nice. But I have him in here for his 88 steal and 88 perimeter defense um, because he just locks up. Man, Clams, Interceptor, Intimidator, absolute lockdown PG to run um, there. So if you have this Derek Harper, if you finished off all of those triple throw offline challenges, I would tell you run this Derek Harper like every single game because he just locks up all the time and basically shuts down the PGs that people run that are cheesy. And I absolutely love it. Um, other ones that you could run if you have Ray for Alston, beautiful, beautiful option um, to have out there. Just because, again, he does everything really well, um, really nice. Um, again, if you have Kyle Lowry, another really good card that you could use. Um, even the D Brown from this year isn't too bad this season, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Also, don't use your Damian Lewis and stuff like that. The defense is just too bad on them. I wouldn't recommend it. But for some other budget PGs that maybe you don't have already that are going to be really nice for this, um, one that I really love, and I always kind of mess up which section he came in. Isn't it? Team ups. Well, isn't it? Yeah, team ups. Chris Paul. This Ruby CP3 is one of the better PGs um, every single time um, when it comes to limit, whenever he's available. Just because, yeah, the CP3 is a quality mid range of an 85, a really nice release, and his defense is amazing for, you know, a guard his size, which is great. You gotta love the gold badges. He has some nice finishing. He got quick first step. He has hot 700 things that he would really, really need. And then Silver Clemson and Pick Dodge are super nice. Um, if you want an alternative, to the Derek Harper that I've been using, somebody that's really good at you know playing defense but doesn't provide anything too much else. This Ruby Michael Ray Richardson is beautiful for that and also has a dynamic duo with the Otis Birdsong. Maybe you got him, you could run it. 
um, Otis could be your above the um, pink or amethyst tier card that works very 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 well but who knows but for pgs generally the thing that i tell you guys to look for make sure obviously they have the three point shot so they can be run but some form of clamps at least bronze silver or higher is preferred make sure they got that on there any of the defensive badges are just a boost and then a solid perimeter defensive stat as well as quick first step and then i think you have a beautiful pg um, to run there and really go cheesy with it so that's really nice for shooting guards i'm gonna recommend it to you every single time nick anderson's ruby card is the best budget shooting guard that you guys can run anytime on unlimited when he is available this nick anderson is six foot six he's great size has a 93 midi love his dunking because he still dunks even though he has 60 rating which is crazy the playmaking is awesome the defense is solid and we have really good speed and then you can see for our badges has a bunch of good shooting badges including circus threes and deep threes on gold which is beautiful hot zone hunters nice 12 silver badges which are all beautiful as well and has bronze clamps and a really money jump shot i keep telling you guys about this nick anderson so it might feel a little bit um overdone at this point but i absolutely love him i mean he's great and if you guys didn't know if you go to switch up the cards if you hit um the l1 on playstation it's a top button on the left on your controller you can actually bring it to a limited section where it shows you all of the cards that are available at that position that you guys can use so make sure you guys do that other budget options that i think are very solid this ruby clay thompson um, a lot of you guys probably have it just from randomly pulling packs or things like that just in your collection and again very solid 88 three-point shot has a 85 perimeter defense which is solid silver clamps which you know what i'll take it silver deep threes very very solid and one of the cheaper options again that you can get along with nick anderson um, to run at the different positions just on stevenson is a token reward sapphire card that's very solid um you know 84 three-point shot so he's available has a good perimeter defense and has some beautiful um, defensive stats and badges which <laughs> i love as well so for a lot of my shooting guards i look for obviously a great ability to shoot but also having some solid defense like nick anderson um, even with the bronze clamps that can really help you know lock up whenever need be because sometimes it can be a little tough for some higher end guys that i could show you guys here that are still really good um i was thinking about a jimmy butler i think he's available in limited yep Jimmy Butler is a beautiful option to throw in there. Just play really solid defense, money off the catch, um, and just play solid all around. Um, it's just a really good card. And if you have the pink diamond Ray Allen for two, I mean, run him. He's going to be nice. But um, again, I would recommend using other ones just because they're fun. And, you know, maybe you can use some of these um, NBA draft cards because they're very solid as well. Um, now, when it comes to the small forward position, I always recommend this Ruby Bruce Bowen because Bruce Bowen is a demon on defense. Usually what I do is if I have Curry in the game, I will take Bruce Bowen and throw him on whoever is that offensive card that they really got, unless it's a big man. Um, so I've gone against Pink Diamond KD and things like that. Throw Bruce, Bruce Bowen on there, and it is over because Bruce Bowen has a 88 shot three, but then a 96 perimeter defense with gold pick dodger, clamps, intimidator, off ball pass, trapper, also has hot on him, which is beautiful. This Bruce Bowen is one of the most lock up cards you can use. He's super, super cheap. Uh, might be a little bit less so now because of the limited rules making prices go up a little bit. But this Bruce Bowen, absolutely love him. <laughs> really, really recommend him. He's just great, 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 great card overall. Um, other ones that I do kind of like, Gerald Green is I think a really fun card. If you don't care too much about defense and you really want to just go all offense, this Gerald Green is your guy. Um, you can see a little bit on the opposite end of a Bruce Bowen, we have more offense than we do defense, but this Gerald Green is beautiful, nice release, really good inside, and still has some solid defense if you did put a clamps on him or something like that. Um, really makes him a beast. Token reward cards, I love to shout these out. <laughs> Reggie Williams is a great card for this, has an 80 shot three, really good at finishing, has a nice 84 perimeter defense, and also has silver clamps and silver pick dodger for anybody that wanted to use him there. Very good card, also silver quick first step. Um, Byron Russell, another token reward card that is very cheap. Obviously, it's like six tokens once you get up to there. 84 three-point shot, decent dunking, 80 perimeter defense, and again, has silver clamps and silver pick dodger, along with gold catch and shoot, which you love to see. So, very, very good options for both the two and the three. And also, you could run this Bruce Bowen at the two again if you wanted to, but, you know, we got Nick Anderson there for the range. Um, other big end cards, I feel like you don't really need me to talk too much about the big end cards. Like, you know who they are, but Kevin Durant, obviously going to be a beautiful small forward to run in there. Dominique Wilkins even could be really, really solid. Um, this Carmelo Anthony, if you got a clamps on him, is great. Another card that I absolutely love is one of the new um, flashcards that dropped yesterday, that being the... 
Rudy Gay, this diamond Rudy Gay, even if you have so any form of clamps on him is insane. I didn't use him with clamps and was still killing it, dropping a bunch of buckets with him. He's a demon, man. This Rudy Gay is insane. Again, more offensive weighted, but still is a very, very, very solid card um, that you can just use overall. And also, this Amethyst Tyler Hero is, again, a demon. Check out the gameplays for Rudy Gay and Tyler Hero in the description down below. Absolute demons. Um, when it comes to power forwards, this one's a little bit more iffy for me. I haven't had too many power forwards that I really, really like. Um, in the game at this current point in time, um, usually run like a Shreve Abdul Rahim or something like that. But the card that I've found that works the best for me personally at the power forward position is two cards. One is an Emerald Jeff Green. Love this guy. Has a solid build at 6 foot 8 a good 79 three-point shot. I love his release. Awesome dunking. Can play make really well. Has solid defense with the 82 perimeter. Good speed. And has three gold badge ups. Draw nice. Three good silver and th 10 good bronzes. Catch and shoot. Pick dodger clamps. All really good. Even a bronze quick first step, which I love. And he's super, super cheap from the possessed set. So I love running the uh, Jeff Green there as a budget guy for my power forward. Another one that I really love to run is um actually doesn't look like he's available right now so that's a little bit tough another one that i love to run for most weeks um is patrick williams but it looks like he did not make the cut um because who knows why probably because he's an evo and gets his three-point shot boosted up so it doesn't make the cut this time but normally i love that patrick williams card um there's just a lot of good you know power forwards in there it just hasn't been too many that i really feel like i'm absolutely like drawn to um, and I really, really love Xavier McDaniel's one that I use a lot as well. Um, six foot nine, a decent three point shot, but not usable right now. So the power forward position is probably one of those ones that I would go out and experiment a little bit with because he's very fun. Also for a shooting guard small forward, I forgot to shout out Ruby Andrew Wiggins. Make sure you guys check out this Ruby Andrew Wiggins, absolute demon. Um, very, very solid at everything that he does. And then when it comes to centers, because obviously I was telling you guys, don't really have a good power forward that I really think is uh, absolutely insane. But for centers, really good ones. If you like to use your Amethyst or higher, Serge Ibaka is beautiful for this. A great stretch big with an 85-3. Has good dunking, really good defense, especially interior. Awesome rebounding. Has Hall of Fame rim protector and some great Hall of Fame badges or gold badges that really help him out in everything. And it makes this Luis Scola, or not Luis Scola, it makes this Serge Ibaka um, really solid all around. Like one of my favorite cards really to just use at the power forward or even the center just because he has a lot of things well um, also i forgot to shout out um, tom googs for power forward as well as boris Diaw for power forward if you're using your amethyst or above two really good cards uh, for centers two that i like to shout out here for budget guys is the andrea bargnani a little bit more expensive as a budget guy because you can see he's around 20k but um, this andrea bargnani gives you the amari sotomayor jump shot which is beautiful 87 three-point shot great dunking has awesome awesome um rebounding as well as pretty solid interior defense um and he's a little bit slow but at seven foot i don't think it's too bad to have a 68 speed or so um really solid badges that'll help you catch and shoot things like that some nice ones in the defense and rebounding category inside the paint um and i love it because he has bronze deep threes uh, another one that's very solid is also in the tip off season but this one's west and that's rafe lafrance very solid um overall you can see he's more expensive because people are running for him right now uh, because he's an 89 three-point shot which is solid good dunking solid interior defense really good rebounding um, and has a really solid jump shot off catch with some really good badges um, to help him out in shooting finishing rebounding a little bit of defense here and there too um, which is great and for these super budget people the cards that i'm gonna recommend for you guys is gonna be the sapphire chris bosch because he is amazing the sapphire chris bosch um, i think gives you everything that you really kind of need as a sapphire card which is very solid um, six foot eleven is beautiful at center, and has some pretty solid stats as well. An eighty-seven midi, seventy-nine mid-range, or three-point shot is very solid. Um, again, solid defense, especially in the interior there, and we have um good rebounding, some decent speed, but overall, you know, it's still a very, very, very good card. Um, and then when it comes to his badges, you know, catch and shoot, some post things like that. Um, overall, looking pretty good, and he does have a duo, but I wouldn't recommend using it because it doesn't make him or his other guy you know, too great, but still very good, very nice. So when it comes to the big men, my general thing is make sure he has a high interior defense. Obviously they have to shoot, make sure they have good rebounding, decent speed, and hopefully they have to have a rebound chaser and some sort of intimidator to really help you in the post. Um, and then for your power forward, um, it's kind of the same thing as a small forward. We want to have some okay rebounding there because obviously you want them to help out, but mainly the focus is going to be on the other guys to do some things but 
have some sort of decent rebounding, like I said, some good finishing, the ability to shoot pretty well with a nice release, and some defense that'll help them out in the perimeter and inside. I was using Rudy Gay, and he worked beautifully. So make sure you pick your up, your guys up some nice cards and work on it through here to get your second ring, hopefully throughout, and to get you guys that Amethyst Mo, Mo Peterson. And make sure while you're going through, you crank out these win the weekend challenges because they are so 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 easy. Like score 10 with a shooting guard in the limited game, so easy. Um, five assists with the PG in a limited game, so easy, and get five rebounds with a center in a limited game. Very, very easy. Make sure you guys crank them out and get yourself that, uh, oops, didn't want to do that. Make, your, <laughs> make sure you get yourself that wonderful Ruby Amon Shumpert for the extra XP and working towards that mystery play. Um, like if you guys did enjoy, comment down below who you, who you guys have been using so far in limited, if you got your ring and all that wonderful stuff. Um, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Make sure you guys subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you.